everyone and welcome back to my channel so today you guys i'll be showing you how i built my craft station i know that this video was super short but please bear with me i'll be uploading another one on here tomorrow if god wills all you have to do is follow these three simple steps and you'll have yours up in no time i promise you so the first step is just putting your bookshelves together as you can see here, me and my sister were just putting the four bookshelves that I got off of walmart.com and it came in a set of two for about $50 each set. The next step is adding your casters. So I bought 16 casters off of Amazon and I added four to each bookshelf. The last step is adding your hinges. So all I did was place a piece of cardboard in between the bookshelves. So mind you, this part of the bookshelf is going to be facing the wall that's why you see the unfinished wood i wanted a more strong and sturdy hold so i thought it was better just to add the hinges to the unfinished part of the wood so the 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 cardboard in between it is just giving me enough space in between so that i don't uh secure the hinges too tight so i just added one on the bottom the middle and the top So this step right here, I'm just going in and um, screwing the rest of the screws that I didn't put in when I attached the hinges. So the reason why I uploaded this part is because I was going crazy, you guys. I thought that I did something wrong. I didn't know what was going on, but the bookshelf wasn't level. As you can see, I'm like opening it and I'm closing it. Something ain't right. My floor is uneven. So please make sure that when you put this together that you're on the floor that is leveled, please, because you'll be going crazy. Alhamdulillah, all praise to God, my sister was there. She was able to help me and it worked out fine. The next step is optional. I, add, I added some contact paper to the unfinished part of the bookshelf and I actually turned it around and faced the inside. So on the outside of my bookshelf, all you want to see is black. So this is how it looks. And this is the finishing look, you guys. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. And I didn't spend a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. These things be expensive. And I was able to build this in the comfort of my own home and add my own style and decor and everything that I wanted in it. I was able to do myself for under, I want to say, two hundred and fifty dollars, which you can probably do it for cheaper. But me, I got to be extreme. As always, I never fails, but I love it. I can actually say like this is something that I had to be extreme with. But let's get a little closer, you guys. I want to show y'all some of the hidden features. Yep, I added a power strip. Velcro is live. I also added some LED lights, which I absolutely love. And I'm happy that I thought of that. Because at nighttime, I can just turn these bad babies on. And I ain't got to worry about putting on all the lights in the house. And I can just work. So I added the four LED lights on the shelving that cannot be removed. So I ain't got to worry about moving them and all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, part two is dropping tomorrow. So turn on them post notifications. Mm -hmm.